Hey guys, this is all stream that back with another episode of hunting simulator And we're going to do three hunts today. The first one we're gonna do is called like a bat out of hell And they want two turkeys and one pheasant. It looks like it's going to be from nine o'clock in the morning to three o'clock in the afternoon And we're going to make sure we have our 22 which is the right one for small game, uh, birds and such. And just in case they need something bigger for a bonus, we've got our 270 bolt action. And let's get our, let's see, what did they want? What was it that they wanted? Turkeys and pheasants. Perfect. I think we have callers for both. There's our pheasant. And do we have a turkey collar? I thought we did, but we may not. We do not. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're going to use our pheasant collar. There we go, we've got our scent killer spray, our elk collar, and our deer collar. And we have our flashlight. So let's go ahead and get into the hunt. Turkey and pheasant are always a difficult animal to hunt. They can take off at any time, and if you're not ready, you've lost them. If you can spot them out in the open, then you're in luck. Otherwise, they're going to be blending in with the shrubs. It's easy for fowl to blend in with tall grass and shrubs. They're small creatures and they don't want to be found. Finding them is one thing, but landing a shot is something else. If you have to flush them out, do so with caution and make sure you're well equipped. Let's go. Two turkeys, one pheasant. Let's uh, take a look at our map real quick. So where are we? Where are we? Okay, right there. Uninspected track behind us. Okay, and they also want a pronghorn now. There's the track we're looking for. Six hours ago, northwest. Okay, we're headed in the right direction. Okay, we've got something up here it looked like. Okay, so we're going to see him right now. There we go. We're going to hit him. Alright, he's out.
And we got him in the lungs. All right. And that's fine, we got him. Uh, Turkey, four hours northwest. Okay, let's see if we can find a track here. Well, there's a desert bighorn. Okay, we need to be going this way, it looks like. Turkey, one hour north. Okay, so they are in this general area. So we're looking for a turkey and we're looking for pheasant. Okay, so is this going to be the zero hour? Two hours northwest. Okay, so we are getting close to the middle of their ground. It's a cottontail. Ooh. There's something up here. Okay. Got one. He 
we should be right over here, yeah? So apparently we're right on top of him and we can't see him. Look at that. And I cannot find the turkey that I shot. Oh, there we go. All right, we hit him in the lungs. Look at that. Okay, the other guy was right over here. So we're going to run over and grab him. And then we're going to start calling our pheasants. Okay, that should be him right up here. Okay, no vitals hit. And now we just need one pheasant. Okay. Let's, uh... Call for the pheasant. Okay, we... have a pretty long way to go for pheasant if we want to cotton tail. Let's uh, go ahead and reload. So pheasants can be kind of tricky. Ooh. Okay, we kind of scared her. That's fine. We don't need a pronghorn anyway.
All right, let's uh, head up here. Kind of look around a little bit, see what we can find. Okay, that's another turkey track. We're not looking for turkeys anymore. We are only looking for pheasants. And it is 11.24, we got plenty of time. She's running off, that's fine. Okay, let's uh, bring out our pheasant collar again. Nothing. Okay. So let's take another look. There's another desert bighorn. Okay, and where are we? Okay, so if we keep going that way, yep, that should be fine. Okay, come on. We need to find some pheasants. Uh, that is not a pheasant. That's a little too big to be a pheasant. Okay, from here, if we go directly west, we should be fine. There is a whitetail, or no, pronghorn, okay, that's probably one of the pronghorns that we've been seeing. Nothing. Ok. 
Okay. Another turkey. Another turkey. There's a lot of turkey tracks here. But nothing for a pheasant. I wouldn't doubt if they're all over here. All the way on the other side of the map. Alright, so we just keep on going. It's another turkey. Okay, let's check this out. That's another turkey. Okay, we haven't been to this part of the map yet. Let's take a quick look. It's another pronghorn. Okay, there's another turkey. Okay, we've got nothing so far. So we've got a track that's inside a bush, right over here, yes. Pheasant, 10 hours to the west. Okay, nine hours to the west. This should be eight hours. Yep. OK, 
Okay, this should be seven hours. Eight hours. Okay, so we've got something in here. It's five hours to the west. Okay, we are in their territory. Look at him climb. There's one right there. Got him. Let's go and collect this pheasant and go home. There we go. And nope, no bonus. Okay. No vitals. But not too bad. Uh, that's a 715 point hunt with no penalties. We got our pronghorn, our two turkeys, and our pheasant. And we can now use the wind powder times five. Alright, so this next one is called Kick Like a Mule, and they want three mule deer. So, we switch our guns around. Our primary is now the 270 bolt action. The secondary is the 22 semi-automatic. And that was mule deer. So those should all be on the same, right? There's red deer. There's... Okay. So the mule deer, roe deer, sitka deer, they all have different urine sprays. The red deer, okay, has its own collar. Okay, and then we also have the elk and the pheasant. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this hunt. Okay, so this hunt will begin at 7.30 in the morning. It will end at 4.30 in the afternoon. And they want three mule deer. By now you've probably seen everything that the Chihuahuan Desert has to offer. Inclines, boulders, prickly vegetation, and unbearable heat. You're going to have to use the wealth of knowledge that you've garnered from your time here and use it in this hunt. There's a few herds of mule deer trotting around in the south area of the desert. They like to roam do the, mu do the mule deer. They could be in and amongst the cacti or out in the open. Which set of tracks you choose to pursue is entirely down to you. Don't be surprised if you see mule deer mixing with pronghorn or even bighorn sheep. It's hot out there, and they all want the best spots to sunbathe or eat. Don't forget that spotting can play an important role in any hunt. Try using higher ground to your advantage, but as usual, be careful. Okay, three mule deer. So we are there. 
And do we have, we do, okay. So directly north. Directly north. Uh, there's also a stand up there, so let's uh, see if we can get to the stand. Okay, there's the stand. We're looking for mule deer. Okay, it looked like there was something out there. I hate this desert. I really do. So, let's take a look around from up here. Okay, I am not seeing anything. Oh, we got something over here. Okay, let's uh, leave the shelter. Let's uh, come right over here. Oh, we got something over there. Right there. That's a desert bighorn sheep. We don't need you. Pronghorn, we're not after. We're after mule deer. That's... Okay. So we don't care about the pronghorn. So I hate it when they do that. Okay, so up this way, All right, and to the east. We don't want pronghorn.
Okay, come on. Let's... We got him. One shot. There we go, we got him in the heart and the stomach for big bonuses. Okay, we had something running this way. There we go. Jeez, that took so many shots just to hit him. Yep, he's... Straight ahead. And he should be fairly out in the open. Alright, he should be... Yep, we haven't caught him yet. Okay, we should be like right on, there he is, okay. Oh, no vitals hit, negative 100. Well, we know where he's at. Okay, and there's two of them over there. That's a female pronghorn. Okay, we are looking for our one final Mule deer. There we go. There. That'll work.
Now let's go get him, and then we will be on to the final hunt for the Chihuahuan Desert. 250 for hurting him in the lungs. And that is a 1,311 point hunt. And we can now use our scent killer spray times too. And now we have our final Chihuahuan Desert hunt. And it is Tyson. Claim Tyson the legendary bighorn sheep. So we make sure that the 270 bolt action is what we are carrying. And if they want something smaller, the 22 semi-automatic. And it is a bighorn sheep. I don't think we have anything for that to call. And we do not. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and get into the hunt. The numerous battle scars that this sheep has tells a story of its own. This sheep loves to fight. For territory, for the right mate, or even just for fun. It has the biggest horns of any sheep in this region despite missing chunks out of them. It makes a new enemy at the turn of a head. This brave sheep will fight just about anything. It fights anywhere but prefers to fight in the mountains on the steep cliffs. That way there is more at risk, but in reality it's because he's the best in that environment. He's pushed many to their death, one less sheep to worry about. This murderous and fierce ram is something to fear. So from 7.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m., we are hunting Tyson, the legendary bighorn sheep. So let's take a look at the map. Uh, there is a wide area of a possible track, and that is west by southwest. Okay. Uh, we've got kind of a small area to look for him, and I am okay with that. Oh. We want to go right about, yeah, right about there. Right on the other side of that big mountain. So let's track Tyson, shall we? Okay, there's something up here. Okay, that's from them. We don't care about them. They're not Tyson. Okay, so we've got... track right there two hours to the northwest there he is we found him oh my Okay, he should be right over here. There he is. Oh my gosh. Look at that.
This one was easy. All right, let's run over and get Tyson. There he is. He don't look so tough, does he? Don't look tough at all. We uh, got him in the lungs. 428 points. All right, and that concludes the Chihuahua Desert, and that also concludes today's episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, next time we're going to be heading into the coastal rainforest. My name is Allstream. That hit that like and subscribe button, and ring the bell for notifications.